Hey, it's Cole here. We're up at one of our new showings called Green Rock along the Burgundy Trend at the southern end. And uh, we're channel sampling up here today and thought, oh, why don't we explain to people, make a quick video of what a channel sample is and then it gives us an opportunity at the same time to show you some of the stuff we're seeing on surface and it, you know, how impressive it is. Uh, so zooming in, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm pointing at here, but this is what a channel would look like unpulled we tried to kind of chisel that out so we don't uh, kill your speakers at home with our big uh, our big channel saw going and this is what it looks like afterwards so all we literally do is take like a like a concrete saw or masonry saw and we literally cut a channel right out of the outcrop itself um, and then chisel the rock out and break it up into one meter sections and and it gives us a continuous uh, sample as opposed to you'll hear people say like grab samples uh, grab samples at outcrop and all that is is you're just chipping off one piece of the outcrop and going and sampling that well that can either miss things or it can high grade things so this gives us a much better idea of um, think of it like a drill hole on surface almost right going across uh, so if we actually zoom into the rock and say, well, why are we channeling this? Why is it exciting? Here's a few things. Um, number one, the, the obvious oxides, obvious uh, chrysocolla, azurite, malachite, you can see leaking down. I want you to ignore that for a second, though, because that's, you know, obviously cool looking, tells us there's copper here. But the more, from a geological perspective, exciting thing is when we can look really closely into this and number one we can see the immense amount of sulfides and we'll show you what kinds uh, when we pull this out but it's this it's this breccia and what breccias are is basically like we talked about in the last video these hydrothermal fluids this hot water is coming and it's shooting up uh, related to these porphyries driven by the porphyry systems and there's so much force behind that that injection, that, ex that uh, pulse, so to speak, it'll actually go and the fluid will break off chunks of the rock that it's moving through, like you see in here. And, uh, and it eventually it just, uh, you know, hardens uh, essentially in space. Um, and that's what we're seeing here. But what's also really cool with uh, the breccia we're seeing is that we have that strong K feldspar alteration, like we talked about. Um, being critical uh, in these in these porphyries and giving us an idea of where our, our hot uh, centers are um, We can see this is what we'd call a phenocryst uh, and that's just a crystal essentially um, Just a crystal of our megacrystic cyanite. You'll hear us talk about that a lot again That's that intrusive rock that uh, we think is really important here uh, So we can see one just preserved here within our potassium feldspar altered uh, breccia class but uh, as the most exciting part of course is hey look at the amount of sulfides in this so I want to see if I can just quickly pull this out for you guys if not I got a little backup uh, from the one right above it to show you what that looks like cut just like uh, as if it was core you know what what it would look like if it was core coming out so this is all we do is whack the shit out of it and uh we can pry this out. Nice big slab. That one broke on me. Uh, that's not a bad piece, eh? And I, I mean, I'll just wash it here real quick. Give you guys a, get all the dirt off. Oh, that's cool. And, you know, that's, that's what we're looking at uh, right on surface, you know, in, in live time, so to speak. Again, our, our K Feldspar altered class within our breccia. You can see some preserved phenocryst there. But then what's our cement made up of? Well, dominantly sulfides and, and, and our kinds of sulfides. So this more brighter yellow, that's our calcopyrite, right? That's, a, you know, the most, the vast majority, not the vast, I shouldn't say, but the majority of the world's copper 
comes from this exact mineral right here. We can see some pyrite within. And what's, what's harder to pick up, um, unless you're really looking at it, is sphalerite as well. And of course, sphalerite is our, um, is our zinc sulfide. So we're getting all these kinds of minerals and, and what we can't see, but we, we know the system through our sampling we've already done is, uh, is of course, gold and silver bearing. So we are, you're never going to really see that in, in these kind of, uh, in these kind of environments, but there's definitely, um, there's definitely the potential to, for these fluids to be gold and uh, silver bearing as we've seen uh, all throughout this entire um, burgundy trend. So really exciting stuff. I mean, people would see that in drill core and they'd be, they'd be pretty excited. Uh, the fact that we can just rip it right off surface is uh, we're spoiled. So. That's what a channel sample is and hopefully everyone learned a little bit more about hydrothermal breaches.